Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Everything Entertainment Podcast. I am your host, Jalen Bullock. And I'm your co-host, Isaac Reynoso. And tonight is the opening night of this year's musical, Bye Bye Birdie. And we have the pleasure of being joined by this year's leads, Raul uh, Arredondo and Miss Haley Rasmussen, um, in this year's production of Bye Bye Birdie. So with that being said, don't want to take too much of their time with uh, the first show being in a couple of hours. But to start the questions, um, could you guys explain your roles um, in the musical and a little bit about your character? You want to go first, Haley? Sure. Okay, so I play Kim McAfee, and basically she's just this sort of crazy 15-year-old. Um, she's, like, obsessed with Conrad Birdie, almost like Harry Styles' modern day, but, like, <laughs> take it back to, like, 1950, 1960. Um and basically she's chosen to be his last kiss before he goes um, to serve in the army. And so there's just like a bunch of drama around it, you know, how her parents feel about it, what happens with like Conrad and just like, I don't know, it gets sort of crazy, but basically Kim is um, obsessed, with, obsessed with Conrad, even though she kind of has a boyfriend and just that's, yeah, she's kind of crazy. And I am Conrad Brady. Uh, Conrad Brady is Elvis Presley. It is a, another version of Elvis Presley. And he finds out that he's going to the army. And this this whole mix of, like, what is what are, what are people going to do? Basically, what happened to Elvis? And he is just trying to make, um, basically, follow. I don't know how else to explain it. Like, I guess, like, he's just trying to make his last mark before he leaves. Mm -hmm. And that's really it. That's Conrad Okay, so how and when did you guys develop your passion for uh, things like musicals? Um, I was never into musicals in middle school. Um, I was always kind of shy when it came to that. Um, in seventh grade, my mom kind of forced me into um, auditioning for what we did together, um, Beauty and the Beast, and I got Maurice. And I didn't know what to do, but then this lovely woman named Adrienne Terry uh, changed my life forever in the musical world. And... Throughout, you know, I've done Little uh, little Mermaid with her, High School Musical, Footloose, and now Bye Bye Birdie. And she's inspired me to do so much, and I'm truly thankful for her. I was actually kind of different. I got into musicals when I was in third grade. So, I don't know, a little backstory. I used to live in Ohio, but when I moved here, I heard about um, Tico, which is like a local theater production company. And um, I think I was either in third or fourth grade when I did. It was just like Frozen pre-show. And so basically we just like did a couple songs from Frozen and danced to it. But I loved it. Like being on the stage was like so cool to me. So um, I think I did like 10 productions with Tico um, up until my freshman year of high school. And then at Oak Grove, you know, I did Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I started in like fourth grade at Oak Grove too. Um, and just like, I don't know, I just loved being in the theater and then in high school decided to do it for Redwood. So I did it freshman year. I didn't do it online for sophomore year, but then last year with Footloose and then now Bye Bye Birdie. That's great. And a little side note, Isaac, you went to Oak Grove too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So three, <laughs> <laughs> three Oak Groves right here. That's great. Perfect. So what made you guys want to be like a leading role in this year's musical? You maybe yeah. a little um, I don't know. Um, I always told myself that I didn't care what role I got, and it, even if I didn't get Connor Brady in whatever role, um, I trusted Adrian and Galvan or whatever. But I think when I first found out what the musical is, I analyzed everyone's character, no matter what it was, and I was like, if I'm gonna get a lead role, I have to know everything about each of these characters and that's that's really it i didn't i didn't want to focus too much on getting a lead role i just wanted to focus on what is my part in bye bye birdie this is gonna sound like so cliche but my like dream ever since i was like in third grade was just to get a lead part and like i had like a couple like uh featured parts over the year but i was like it's my senior year and going into this i was like i swear I've never been so anxious to like see a cast list because I was like this is my last chance and then when I saw my name next to Kim which is like, the character that I wanted I don't think I've ever like I think I literally screamed and I was like on campus in front of a bunch of people and I just <laughs> was screaming because I was so excited about it all right and uh before the next uh, question I just thought of this Raul, how did you feel when you found out oh my you, you I, I called you didn't I <laughs> oh my gosh I called I was 
I was with my girlfriend and we went to um, Vista uh, and I saw my name under Conrad Birdie and I kid you not, I, tears started coming out and I was so happy and excited. And I called Jalen. I was like, Jalen, guess what? He's like, ain't no way. And then, <laughs> and then um, he knew from right there I got Conrad Birdie. And, and that's really it. Um, and just moving forward, I put all my energy into Conrad Birdie. Um, so do you guys have any concerns or like nerves about it being the premiere of the musical? Uh, for me personally, I'm just worried about my voice cracking <laughs> because <laughs> um, I'm a second alto in choir now. I've done like the highest part and I've done now I'm like the lowest as a woman yeah. like part for choir. So I'm like Kim's songs are a little high and especially with like um, having like two weeks being in the theater and just like long days of practicing. I'm like, if I can get through the shows without any voice cracks, I think I'll be happy. Um, I don't really have concerns, maybe a little nervous, but um, obviously Haley and I, we do a lot of choreo together and I'm hundred percent confident in her. She, she inspires <laughs> me like every day, her, the amount of hard work and effort she puts in. So I'm not nervous. I'm truly excited to see, uh, for people to see what, me and her have been working on and the choreo and everyone else too they've been killing it that's great uh so yesterday we had um some members of the from the musical who are also in uh stage uh, craft being uh brooklyn uh birch uh nathaniel what's his last name crabtree and, <laughs> thank you and then uh, arlo olsen and um they told us about the dream scene correct uh isaac yeah um so we're wondering what um is your guys' favorite scene? Without giving too much away, of course. Do you want to go first, Haley? Favorite scene? Hmm. Um, okay, I think, well, my favorite scene is not even one that I'm in, like, that much. But um, when Conrad sings, um, I think it's honestly sincere. Oh. Um, everyone goes crazy, and I'm, like, off stage because I, like, leave, like, halfway through the song. I'm just, like, laughing because I think it's, like, hilarious. Like, I just think that whole number, and there's, like, a couple scenes in the musical that just, like, have me dying. Like, I don't know. I'm excited <laughs> for people to see those the most, I think, because I just think they're so good. I think my favorite scene, um, there's a – well, there's two. Honestly, sincere, obviously – I. When you see it, you, you will understand why I love it so much and why Haley loves it. But um, the one we're both in, a lot of living to do, um, it is so oh, much yeah, fun. fun. It is too. so much fun. And it's not like I get we have to act and all that. But at the end of the day, we're doing this for fun. And when not to give too much away, but when we're in the in that song together, it is oof, it is so exciting. And I'm really excited to show everyone what we, what we have been working on. Mm hmm. So our next question is kind of like what you guys just talked about, but what's your favorite song? What is your favorite song, Haley? Okay, well, if we're going off like what I sing, um, I really like the first song that I get to sing in the, uh, in the musical. It's called How Lovely to Be a Woman. And um, it's basically just Kim trying to like portray herself as a woman, even though she's like 15 years old and trying to act all grown up. And like, um, it's probably my favorite just because like, well, I did Bye Bye Birdie in seventh grade, but I couldn't really remember anything about the musical going into it. And so when I heard we were doing Bye Bye Birdie and listened to the soundtrack, that was probably the first song that I heard. And like with that, um, I started to like fall in love with Kim's character and like stuff like that. So for me, I think that song will always kind of have a special place in my heart. Um, if we're going off of me, I think my favorite song is Honestly Sincere. Um, it is a really difficult song, but it is the Elvis Presley hound dog uh gel like it is absolutely amazing and the stuff we do like in honesty sincere it goes with it and my my character um, will come out tonight um wait I'm making sure the right question all right <laughs> <laughs> um so we've talked about it a little bit um but what scene was the most difficult um to bring to life on stage um Mm. Does it have to be like a scene we're in no, or just anything? It could just be in general. Okay. Ooh, that mm. we yeah. worked on. There's this one tree scene. Um, I'm not sure like the official name for it, but it's like called Shriners Ballet yeah. or something like mm -hmm. that. I'm not even in it, but that was probably the first thing that we started on in the musical, mm. and it was like something that like every rehearsal, like there was time dedicated towards it. Um, 
and it's like where Alyssa says, you know, she plays Rosie and um, she's just like has to like act with all these guys. And it's just like, I don't know. It's one of it's, it's difficult. One of, yeah, yeah it's, it's the hardest. Yeah. One. But it's a good scene. Like, I think the way that it ended up being, it's, like, super funny and super good. So I'm excited for I, it. I think I totally agree with her. Th- that song, it is difficult. It, Alyssa is killer in it, though. It, it's just so much choreo. And all the de- little details that are in it, it's, it's amazing. So how has it felt to work with uh, the cast, just everyone that's working on this project? This has uh, been great. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. No, everyone's like family. Um, I think, you know, Haley and I have been with each other since Oak Grove. Um, there are a bunch of Oak Rovers that are in it. Um, and new people. Oak Rovers. Oak Sorry, Rovers. That's so that weird to say, isn't it? Um, especially um, like Luciano. He's been a lot of fun to work with. And Owen, um, We as you know, we know him. I, I know him. It's been I love that man. Like he's he, he like every time I go to rehearsal, he's just giving fist pumps to everyone. Good job, good job, and and it's it's exciting to work with this cast. Yeah, I would say like I don't know. Everyone in the cast is like so nice. Like the directors, like I don't know. I've never met like such nice people. And like when I'm like stressed out or anything, like I've never had so many people like call me down and like you know tell me like. You know, just, like, help me out or being willing to, like, um, step in if I ever need anything. Like, I swear, the directors are fantastic. The cast is great. Like, the group of people is just awesome. Like, my favorite. Um, So what is something uh, from this year's musical uh, that is different from past years? Um, hmm. Being a lead. (laughs) I think (laughs) that's a a big thing. I've never had this amount of pressure. Um, I think... um, Conrad, it's either hit or miss. I I want I, I can't m- mistake him. He is bye bye birdie. He is the show, and if I don't bring the energy that that people want, it's not gonna be the show won't be the same. And I think that's been a lot of pressure on me to embody Elvis, embody Conrad, and being able to do that. Th- especially Adrian, she's been amazing with me and working on uh, working with. I think that that has for sure been the hardest part something that's like different from last year it's kind of interesting because i think um galvan and the directors tend to choose like um different time periods you know that they choose their musicals like last year's like what, 80s, 80s yeah, yeah 80s and then this year it's like uh a little bit older and so it's like it's interesting going from the different years to like travel to almost like the different time periods and be like oh this is like what the hair is like then or this is like how people would like view certain things you know like and trying to like um you know embody that in like each of our characters Mm -hmm. like i would say that that's what changes for me the most each year is just like getting used to that but it's cool because i've never been one for history but i'm like i feel like i'm learning things like through the musicals no no that is for sure like look at my hair i don't have this normally it's not (laughs) size it's not party like this this is for the show and i it's honestly it's amazing seeing like how time has changed and i love doing these type of things because like, you know, seeing, I don't know, it's funny because Footloose was 80s and it was just like poofy and everyone smoked. 50s, everyone smoked too. But I think learning the contrast of it is, it's amazing. So in the musical, there's a lot of memorization with like lines, dances, songs, all that. So how do you guys manage that? All, like just memorizing everything? Um, It depends on the day. I feel like I can manage it some days better than others, but um. I don't know, just, like, over winter break was when I tried to memorize all my lines because we were supposed to be memorized when we came back. So I was, like, um, I just, like, found, like, a Quizlet online and would just, like, go over it a couple times every day uh, going through my lines. Um, And then the dances, it's just, like, honestly, just, like, practice is the biggest thing. Just, like, getting it in your head. And, like, even now there's, like, sometimes where I slip up and I'm, like, oh, I, like, totally forgot that. But... Just, like, repetition is, like, the biggest thing in memorization, I feel like. What she said. <laughs> that, that's all I got to say. That's, she answered that beautifully. There's, I mean, you got to repeat it, rinse and repeat, and that's it. <laughs> that's how I do it. What is something um, from the Bye Bye Birdie that you're going to miss the most? This is our last musical at Redwood, and basically, I think, I don't know what you want to do, but I don't think I'm going to be a music teacher for band and this might be my last one, but, you know, I think the experience that I've got 
the emotions I put in, the hard work I put in um, with this cast, it I'm going to miss it for sure. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree. Like, it's kind of crazy because musicals and theater has been, like, such a big part of my life for, like, you know, years and years. And so it's kind of crazy to think, like, oh, this is my last one that I'm going to do in high school. And, like, it's kind of got me thinking, like, if I want to go into theater when I'm, like, older or just, you know, continue it in college, even if it's just, like, on the side. But I think I'm going to miss, you know, being in the theater and then with the show – I'm going to miss getting to be Kim because I've like, you know, it's (laughs) been a couple months like getting to like just know this character and become her. And then like, I think it's going to be weird to have to like let that go. So for someone that's never gone to a musical, why do you think they should come see Bye Bye Birdie? To have fun. (laughs) Um, I I think they will. uh, Anyone who comes and watches it, we've changed the way Bye Bye Birdie is. I think the cast and everyone that we have, is they're amazing. And I think they should come. I'm like I'm suffering right here. Sorry, I'm super tired, and so is <laughs> Haley. Um, because watching a musical and watching it live and watching like actual people do like sing and dance and all that, it's a totally different experience. Like watching it, watching it on like TV is you know something else, but watching it in person, it's like wow! Like all the set changes, all the like the light changes, the music. It's just a different experience that I I want people to see. And I want them to see our hard work. I think that's the biggest thing. Yeah. If you've never seen a musical, like, first off, what are you doing? (laughs) Um, Second of all, uh, yeah, I'd say, like, there's just something so cool about, like, seeing a production on stage. Maybe it's just because I've, like, liked them myself. But I feel like there's, like, almost like a magic that comes on stage when you're able to, like, portray a story and, like, tell it through you know song and acting and like I don't know I just think that um there's something so cool about like the storytelling part of it and like getting to share something that we've worked so hard on with everyone and then just like I don't know it's enjoyable like it's Mm. fun so anyone who wants to should definitely come that's great so before we uh wrap up uh today's podcast is there anything else you guys would like to add you want to go first sure (laughs) Um, you guys should come and watch uh, Bye Bye Birdie. Um, it is Thursdays at seven. There's one on Friday at seven. There's one at at seven on Saturday, and there's a two p.m. one on Saturday. It is twelve dollars. And I want to say, um, I love all of you guys in the Bye Bye Birdie cast. You have meant the world to me. I am truly thankful for everyone. Um, it means a lot. And Adrian, Galvan, and Carrillo. Um, the people who have been on my journey, I'm truly thankful for all of you. Yeah, I guess kind of what Raul was saying. I'm, like, really grateful for, you know, all the hard work that's been put into it. So uh, thank you to all the directors and all the cast members, and I'm so excited to show everyone, like, what we've done. Uh, but, yes, once again, um, the link um, to buy tickets will be on uh, all the musical stories on Gigantia. So check that out if you haven't already got tickets for one. And you'll also be able to buy tickets at the door. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Perfect. And it's $12 at the door as well. Yeah, $12 mm-hmm. at the door. Perfect. With that being said, uh, I want to thank you guys very much uh, for coming during your busy schedule. I will be um, at the 7 p.m. on uh, Saturday. I'm looking forward to seeing the production. Um, I'm sure Isaac will go out yeah, there definitely. as well. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> And I'm, you know, really excited, you know, seeing you guys uh, grow. I know all the hard work uh, you guys have put on. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm excited for um, the whole town to see. So. Yes. Thank you. Once again, uh, I am your host, Jalen Bullock. And I'm your co-host, Isaac Reynoso. And this is Everything Entertainment.